Today, I'm making beet burgers. This recipe comes from the new Persian kitchen by Louisa Shafia. This is what her beet burgers look like. I made these from her cookbook, and funny enough, about a few days later, I actually saw her make these on YouTube on the Epicurious channel. So I'll leave a link to that if you wanna go check it out. I'll also leave a link where you can find her book because it's lovely. Now let's get started and make these delicious burgers. You start by peeling a whole beet, and look what it does to your hands after you peel it. It really stains them. I'll show you here in a second. Ah! <laughs> so you peel it and then you grate it and then you caramelize up a whole bunch of onions. This was one whole onion. Then you add in your beets and saute that down. To that, you add some walnuts and some raisins some garlic, here's some paprika, and here's what the mixture looks like. So you let it cool down just a little bit, and then you put it in a blender, awkwardly. <laughs> I was trying so hard not to spill. And then, yeah, you just blend this up. Then you add some cooked split peas. You would have those cooked in a bowl and then you add in your blended beet and onion mixture to those. Put in the blade. Forgot to put in the blade back in my blender, but I finally did it right. <laughs> then I added in some cooked rice and one egg. And you blend this all together. So obviously the egg makes it so that it's not vegan, um, but it's still a vegetarian burger. You add in your blended rice to your beet mixture. I did hear the chef say on that video that if you wanted to make this vegan, you could just add more rice and leave the egg out. I, don't, I didn't try it, so I don't know if that works, but maybe you could attempt it. <laughs> then you mix it together so it's kind of like ground meat, and then you form it into patties. My hands got so messy, I went and washed them because they looked crazy. <laughs> um, and then they just got messy all over again. But you get the idea. I divided this into four equal portions and then you just do the same thing you would do with a normal ground meat patty. Then you get a little bit of oil and butter warm in your skillet and you're just going to saute these off for a few minutes per side. I loved the color that they got. It gave it a nice, smoky, almost charred flavor without being burnt. Then you cover them, turn it to low, and let them cook through for about 10 minutes. In the meantime, I toasted some buns, and then you just layer up your burger. You put your patty down, and then you top it with a nice uh, Greek yogurt mixture. I put some blue cheese in my Greek yogurt. That wasn't in the recipe, but I like blue cheese with beets. <laughs> then I topped it with a sprinkle of dill. Fresh dill would have been lovely, but I didn't have it. And then you spoon over a salad of cucumbers and tomatoes with some fresh herbs in there. And that's it, there you have it. You guys, they were so delicious. I loved them, my boyfriend loved them, and we are not vegetarians, but we loved the flavor of these and the texture was really, really nice. I think that almost anyone would like these unless you particularly hate beets, you might not like them, <laughs> but especially if you are plant-based or vegetarian, I highly recommend trying these. They were delicious. Thank you so much for watching.